So we've melted gold and we've melted silver. So now let's melt some copper. Yeah. Hey, what is up everybody? Hope everybody's having a great day today. So today, we are gonna melt down some copper. So with this crucible and map gas, I have melted down gold and silver, but I've never attempted to melt any copper. So today, I figured why not go ahead and melt some copper? So I do have a bunch of different pieces, uh, bare bright copper, some of the smaller strand stuff, uh, some number one copper pipe. And I figured, let's try and melt it into some cool little bars and some like ingots. So at the moment, I do not own a forge or a furnace for melting bigger amounts. I just have my little poor man's crucible and my little bottle of gas. So I figured though, I want to go ahead and try to melt some copper just in that little crucible just to see if it works. So the melting point of copper is like I think it's like a thousand and eighty five or eighty six degrees Celsius. So it's just got to be a little bit hotter than when you melt gold. And I have successfully melted gold in that crucible multiple times. So why not go ahead and try to do the copper? Now, obviously, before I start melting any of this, you're gonna wanna take safety precautions. The first one being, you're gonna wanna wear a respirator and do it in a well-ventilated area. I am gonna turn my vent hood on, that's upstairs, that sucks out everything. You're gonna wanna definitely have eye protection because if this stuff splats up into your eye, that's definitely gonna cause some pain and injury. You're gonna wanna wear gloves and you're gonna wanna be as safe as possible, guys. As always, safety first.
All right. So there is the determination. So basically, it gets heated up. It starts to melt, but the heat just will not keep on that. So all in all, I would not recommend if you do have a crucible like this and you are just using gas, don't bother trying to melt copper. Now of course I was hoping that I would be able to pour a couple little copper bars and buff them up and clean them, but there you go. You don't know until you try. And honestly, I've never tried to do this. This was the very first time. I was hopeful that it would work because the melting point of copper is only a little bit more than gold. But it does not seem to want to keep the heat in the crucible. So it won't get molten enough that it'll go into like say a button or an ingot or be able to pour it into there. Whereas silver and gold, I've had no problem being able to do that. So, there you go guys. I mean, it's not the result that we want, but if anybody is wondering, you know, can I melt copper in a crucible? The answer is probably no. You're going to want a furnace or some kind of forge so that you can melt a big pile also to make it worth it because you don't want to you know, spend a whole pile of money on uh, gas and not be able to get any results. So I'm glad that I went through it for everybody. And yeah, even though it is a complete fail, it definitely just, you know, gives out some information to somebody who may not know, like me. I had no clue whether or not you could use a crucible in map gas to melt copper into little bars. So now we know. So, either way, I'm still happy that now I know not to even bother wasting my time doing that. So don't waste your time doing it. I am going to actually be ordering, it's not a big furnace like a Devil Forge or anything like that, but it's an electrical one. And I'm gonna start melting copper and brass and aluminum and just try that out and I also have a couple different uh, ideas for forging some really cool stuff so look for that in the future and I do hope this video was a little bit informative to somebody who like I said has never done it before like me so I do hope everybody's out there having a great day today and definitely guys keep pushing your dream keep pushing your passion no matter what and always try to have fun with it we will see you guys soon